This time, let's have solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. So let us know first, what is routine problem? It is a type of problem that requires immediate solution. And non-routine problem, it requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways like working backwards and writing an equation just to name a few. Papaano nga ba ang pag-solve ng routine problem? So, isang halimbawa ng problem is ito. Aling Maria has 12 and 1 kilos of beef to sell. If she was able to sell 9 and 1 half kilos of beef, how much meat was left to sell? Sa Aling Maria daw ay mayroong 12 and 1 fourth kilo ng karne ng baka para ibenta. Kung siya raw po ay nakapagbenta ng 9 and 1 half kilos ng karne ng baka, ilan na lang pong kilo ang natira para ibenta niya? Okay, para malaman natin ang sagot, alamin muna natin kung ano ang what is asked. Para masagot ang what is asked, na makikita po natin siya sa katanungang how much meat was left to sell. Pero hindi po siya ang pinakasagot, kundi atin pong ere rename babaguhin po natin from question to statement. Kaya magiging siyang the weight of meat that was left to sell. So, ibig sabihin ilang kilo na lang ng karne ng baka ang kanyang ibebenta. So, ano-ano naman ang ang pwede nating makuha ang mga given facts. Yan, we have 12 and 1 fourth kilos of beef to sell. At mayroon din po tayong 9 and 1 half kilos of beef. Okay. Ano po ang tinatawag nating word clue? Ang word clue, ito po ang magiging daan para malaman natin kung ano po ang operations na gagamitin. Kung magpa-plus, mag-minus, mag sub mag uh, Divide or mag multiply. So left. So left. Ito po ay subtraction. Kaya ang operation to be used natin is subtraction. So ano naman nating number sentence? Ang number sentence is a combination of operation to be used and given facts. So meron tayong twelve and one fourth minus nine and one half is equal to n. Okay. Ano po ang solution natin? Yan na po. Ang magiging solution natin is 12 and 1 fourth minus 9 and 1 half is equal to n. Dahil alam po natin na si 1 fourth and 1 half is dissimilar fractions, hanapin po natin ang kanyang least common denominator. At akin na pong na-explain ito sa mga nakaraan nating video. Okay, so LCD for na muna ang unahin. We have 4, 8. Next, si ito naman, we have 2, 4. At si 4 at si 2 ay mayroong parehong 4. Kaya ang gagamitin natin is 4. So, si 4 na ang bago nating LCD. Siya na po ang magiging nating bagong denominator. So, 12 and 1 fourth, ang gagawin po natin dyan, e -re rename po natin na Copy na muna si whole number, which is 12. Then, ang bago nating denominator is 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Times 1 is 1. At, i-rename din ulit natin si 9 and 1 half. Hindi na po to ang kanyang denominator, kundi 4. Kaya, sulit na muna si, si whole number, which is 9. Then, the, ang bagong denominator, which is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, times 1 is, is, is equal to 2. Ngayon, pwede na po tayong mag sa subtraction. So, 1 minus 2, pwede po ba? Okay. Si 1, hindi po pwedeng mabawasan ito, kaya ang mangyayari po, hindi po tayo makakaproceed sa subtraction. Ang gagawin po muna ni 1 fourth, maghihiram po siya kay 12 ng isa. Okay, so i-rename po natin si 12, gagawin po natin siyang 11 plus 1. Bakit 11 plus 1? Kasi si 1, siya po ang hiniram ni 1 fourth. Okay? Plus, idagdag natin si 1 fourth. Okay? 
So, si 1, i-rename po natin siya into a fraction na ang kanyang denominator ay dapat 4 na rin. Kaya, magiging siyang 11 plus 4 fourths. Ibig sabihin, kapag pare ang numerator and denominator, that is equal to 1. Kaya, si 1 is just the same, the same as 4 fourths. Paano natin nakuha? Dahil ang denominator natin is 4 plus 1. 4. So, 11 plus 4 fourths plus 1 fourth is equal to 11 and 5 fourths. Okay. Minus 9 and 2 fourths. 11, 5 fourths minus 9 and 2 fourths. Pwede na po ba? Okay, pwede na. So, unahin na po natin ang mga whole numbers. So, 11, 5. Minus 9 is equal to 2. Then, the numerator, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then, copy the denominator dahil pareho na po silang 4. So, copy the denominator which is 4. So, 2 and 3 fourths, nasa lowest term na ba? Yes. So, 2 and 3 fourths now is the final answer. Kaya, ang pinakasagot na po is... There were two and three fourths kilos of meat left to sell. Kanyan po ang pag-solve ng routine problem. So, solving non-routine problem involving addition, subtraction of fractions. Okay, alimbawa po nito, we have the problem. Mang Rico needs to fence a triangular piece of land. The first side is 12 and 1 half meters long. The second side is 7 and 1.6 meters long. The third side is 8 and 1.3 meters long. How long should the fence be to cover the triangular piece of land three times? So, writing an equation strategy po tayo. Yan po ang gagamitin natin para masolve ang non-routen problem na ito. So, ano nga ba ang ating what is asked? The length of the fence that would be used to cover the triangular piece of land three times. Again, makakuha po ito sa pinaka-question doon sa problem. Hindi po yung pinaka-question ang sagot, kundi i-rename or i-rephrase natin ito from question to statement. Next, ano po ang mga given facts? We have 12 and 1 half. We have 7 and 1 six and 8 and 1 third meters. At ang word plus natin, we have long and three meters. Times. Ang operations naman na gagamitin natin, addition and subtractions, idagdag din natin dyan si multiplications. Okay. So, ang number sentence natin, we have 12 and 1 half plus 7 and 1 six plus 8 and 1 third times 3. Dahil dissimilar sila, again, kukunin natin ang kanyang LCD. So, we have 2, six and 3. So, we, kung bapapansin nyo po, Si 2, 6, and 3, mayroon pong pare-parehong 6, kaya LCD natin is 6. Ibig sabihin, bagong denominator natin is 6. Okay. So, pagsamasamahin natin ang mga whole number at pagsamasamahin naman natin ang mga fractions. Dahil si fraction, ang mga fractions ay mayroon ng bagong denominator, kaya isa-isay naman natin. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 times 1 is 3 plus So, ano naman si 1, 6? 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 1 is 1. Very good. And we have 1 third. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 plus or times 1 is equal to 2. So, we have now 3 plus 2 plus or 3 plus 1 plus 2 divided by 6 times 3. Okay. Ngayon, i-add naman natin ang mga whole number, which is 27 po ang sagot, plus the denominators, 3 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6. Then, copy the denominator, which is 6 times 3. Okay. Ngayon, kung mapapansin natin, si 6, 6, pariho pang denominator, or at kanyang numerator. Again, Kapag pareho ang numerator at denominator, that is equal to 1. Okay, kaya 27 plus 1 plus 2 plus 
plus 1. Okay. So, that thing 2766 is equal to 27 plus 1 times 3. So, 27 plus 1, this will give us 28 times 3. Okay. So, 28 times 3 is equal to 84. At ang sagot na po natin is 84 meters. So, that is the final answer. At ganyan po ang pagsagot ng non-routine problem. Narito po ang mga dapat nating tandaan sa pag-solve ng word problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. Follow lamang po ang mga steps na ito. Read the problem carefully. Basahin mabuti ang bawat word problem at identify kung ano ang hinahanap or what is asked in the problem. Take note of the given data, mga facts, at identify ko ng word glue. Si word glue, siya ang magsasabi sa atin kung ano ang gagamitin nating operations. Then solve now the answer following the strategies in problem solving at huwag kalilimutan i-simplify at lagyan ng label ang sagot. Congratulations! Ready ka na sa susunod na talakayan. Music